just went on a whole odyssey. Yep. We're gonna try a new restaurant. Try to get food. Right. Didn't happen because there's a power outage on one side of town and the other place had a 30 minute wait. And me and my mom are hungry because she is visiting me. I'm not sure if I said that yet. And I don't think I said anything yet because this is the beginning of the video. Listen, I have been driving in chaotic conditions because of this power outage on the other side. So I started a new vlog. That's why I'm just talking like I am continuing something. But hello, per usual. Never know where this is going to go. So welcome to the channel. So yeah, went to two new places afterwards because I went on the other side that has power. And... It's a, like I said, a 30 minute wait. So now I'm at my tried and true because I know that the food is usually always good here. So I'm going to take my mom here. We've been here a handful of times already, but I really enjoy it. It's a vibe. So let me get in, get a table, and we'll see where the hooligans and the shenanigans go from there. <laughs> Come on. Say none. It's going to sleep up on you. It's like barbecue. <laughs> That's what I want to know. Oh, no. I didn't taste it. I just poured it in here. <laughs> <laughs> I've never tasted a shot that looks that uh, tastes like an entree before yeah. in my life. Chow, no. Now that I'm done with the half an hour odyssey trying to find somewhere to eat, found two. The first one I got was a Miami Vice. Never had one before because I'm in the season of trying new stuff, new drinks, the food, all that. This is a strawberry daiquiri, so I always get it while I'm here. And a, I'm not sure if you can see it because of the color, but like that brownish stuff, rum shot on top. It's a topper, I guess. Never knew they could do that here. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's happening. We're turning up on Wednesday. I don't care. about after 20 minutes of looping around because it's public parking or whatever just for a little place to have one food truck but it's not even a food truck yeah. we're gonna see what this food place is looking like and whatnot This is 
a blueberry palmer. That's a whole bunch of blueberry. What else? Tito's? Some. It's a concoction or something. This thing better be strong because it's $10. Ten, ten dollars. All right, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, they got jenga. They have fake grass somewhere right there. It's a fun time. Yeah, they're strong. I can tell. probably get my tripod, but I'm probably not going to be talking for long. We'll see. So apparently the food trucks are minimal, and they're not coming until later, but it's lunchtime, so what's going on with that? But there's a pizza place that's here all the time, I guess. So we may see what the sandwiches and stuff are hitting for. Gosh, I got my comfy shoes because apparently the food truck places or whatever one today doesn't come until five. I'm not waiting until five. Sorry, I'm hungry now. I came for lunch time. Now, mind you, this place reminds me of downtown Cleveland, downtown Baltimore. And I don't like the way things with parallel parking and everything else like that, it's annoying. Oh, there's the Corvette. Yeah, Ponzo. One thing about this place, you want to buy something to eat. Anywhere in Palm. But we're going to take an adventure and walk. When I tell you when I'm with my mom, I do more random things than with anybody else. We should be like, you want to do it? Bet. Cool. Let's do it. Mind you, there was the ice cream. Oh, they closed down the ice cream spot. Oh, dang. That sucks. Because remember when we said we were going to do that too? It was ice cream and hot dogs. I said, what a combo. But let me concentrate. I'll get to our next destination. So about 10 minutes ago, I needed to walk through a whole party of how much? 200 people. They took up the whole inside of the place that we're trying to eat at. The menu is only brunch, so we're going to see if we even get waited on because it's so busy in here. And clearly they love live music in this area. So. This is called a Hillbane. What is it? Hillbane Punch. I chose it because it got grenadine in it. 
because the last drink was too sour. Ooh. That thing is sweet, child. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to give a recap of everything that happened today. As you can see, I have a cardigan on because it is getting a little bit colder out. Um, probably gonna do some editing after I do my nightly routine and all of that. But this weekend was very action packed when it came to trying new places in my area. It was really nice. Um, my brother came into town and usually we do a dinner. Either he's passing through and, you know, because he's busy. So, yeah, so we went to a couple of the beachside eateries. But before that, the day before, I went to the same eatery twice with my mom. <laughs> um, just both places because it was just nice and we just didn't want the, you know, f the fun to stop because she was with me for about a week. So she really helps me with uh, getting out because I don't have friends that are like local, like literally they are several states over. So my camera just decided to fell, fall, but this is a better angle anyway because I felt like I was too over but um yeah my friends are several states over and even so you know after a certain amount of years just you know just with growing apart so um that's been unfortunate but anyway she's been helping me like try new stuff because she's a foodie like me so we did that and then like i said with my brothers and then yesterday was my day of rest so I didn't do much and then today I took my mom back to our hometown but before that I wanted to try like they have this area where there's food trucks and everything very lackluster food truck wasn't even there it was going to be after 5 p.m. but we decided to stay and have a drink and then um, decided just to walk around because in that area as a whole has a lot of eating places so um we did that and i had as you may have seen the chicken and waffles my mom had the burgers and fries fuego so i haven't had chicken and waffles in years so it was like a really nice treat and then had a drink there and then I just ended up by the lake, read my Bible. Oh, what is going on? I was like, who is screaming? There, someone's playing metal music. But anyway, um, yeah, that was my weekend. And per usual, it's always like a weird type of thing with me where I end a certain way with my vlogs I don't want to say it's weird but it's just I don't know with the time until I edit how long it is and I just don't want to bore you guys or have too long of a you know vlog so we'll see if I want to continue it because probably until next weekend I'm probably not gonna be doing anything because your girl's been a bag when my mom was here just on food so but it was worth it because more recently I have gained 
just the want to kind of live in the now and it's just you know people <sighs> I just wish I was one of those irresponsible just careless people but you know that's just not how my life is set up so if you can show me the way please show me the way but yeah um gonna wrap it up probably some random stuff that I'll talk about maybe in the next vlog or if I continue this vlog again you're just gonna have to find out all right I'm gonna head on in and enjoy the rest of my night child it's not me almost crying blubbering like a little idiot over a movie now mind you when I was younger movies did not impact me but all of a sudden the slightest thing plot twist somebody finding somebody like i just gotta be accepting of it yes i cry over movies now i ain't hurt like i used to be <laughs> But don't get don't get it messed up. A little thug tear. It's a, it's a thug tear. Okay. All right. <laughs> Not me justifying why I cried. Okay, listen. <laughs> there, <laughs> there is a movie on Netflix called Dream. Now the premise of the movie is pretty much just a. Um, soccer or football however you want to name it you know how people have the paraplegic Olympics and everything like that it's kind of similar to this but they are all homeless so you know all the all the lessons that you may think that are in this movie or you know well you you, you get what I'm saying. Everything that you would think, like about triumph and you know, all that good stuff, right? But this is what made me cry because the character, his backstory, and spoiler alert, just move forward. Let me give you a second. Okay, so the character that is about to play, he fell in love with this girl and apparently she became missing somehow he never knew why and he never stopped searching for her so this is what made me cry Another spoiler. Move ahead for a second. I'm gonna give you a second. Three, two, one. So he saw her at the tournament. Okay. She didn't recognize him at first because he had his thing with his thing. He had the bangs. The whole bang. Okay. Then like a whole fight ensued. He knew it was her. He knew. And then now all of a sudden she remembered him. Yeah. Have a man chase me like that. Never not once losing hope about whatever losing me, not losing me. He will be there regardless. He gonna he gonna he never stop search. 
I think that's what made me cry. <laughs> Cause like, where do you get that? What? Not them doing this at the end of the movie. Wrapping up all their stories. Okay, so you know what I don't like doing? Just so I can stay acting free and whatnot, I take birth control. And before I go on to spiel, because I'm going to end the vlog, but I just wanted to say that the next vlog is going to probably consist of, you know, just more women's health. I'm going to give the advocacy side of things, and then I'm going to also give a rant, okay? So that's going to be somewhere in the vlog. I'm not sure where I can already see me doing it after I have this appointment, because I'm already annoyed. <laughs> It's just the nerves. I know that God covers me and he heals me every day. However, why do I have to go through all of this just so I can take a pill every day? So that way my face can be kind of okay. Because it's just bad without it. So it's not even like at this point, it's not even a precaution to not have babies. Because, ew. <laughs> At least right now I'm not with it but yeah I made it here safe and just wanted to end out the vlog so until next time take care